bench at the foot of the bed. Normally I do not film here, but today we are. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice, and if you are new here, and today I'm going to give you all of my secrets, hacks, tips, tricks, all of it under the sun for keeping your house tidy. Seven tips that are going to keep your house looking tidy, make it easier to maintain, make it more enjoyable for you to be cleaning your house because a lot of the times it's just inevitable. We have a house, we live in it, we make messes, and we have to clean it up. Well, we probably should be cleaning it up at least. So these seven tips I hope will help you guys as much as they have helped me. So let's start with number one. So my very first tip is a little bit out there, maybe, if you could bear with me for a second, and it's going to be name what matters. So I have been obsessed with this podcast called The Lazy Genius recently. A woman named Kendra Adachi does it every single week, and she just actually put out a book, but the whole concept of the podcast and the lifestyle is to be a genius about what matters to you and be lazy about what doesn't. If you do not care if your laundry is a mountain and completely overwhelming and you can just close the door and not think about it and not like be worried about it or feel stressed about that, fantastic. Name that. Laundry isn't the top, top priority every single day, but maybe making sure that all of your dishes are done and clean and put away is really important to you or you hate walking on a dirty floor so vacuuming once a day is important to you. Name what matters to you. So it doesn't have to be exactly what matters to me. Like for me, I love having a clean bedroom. It makes my day better. It makes me happier to come to bed at night. It just overall is one thing that I do constantly, but you need to decide what matters for you. So that is step one before we go anywhere else in this list of important cleaning hacks. Name what matters. Sit down and think about your entire house, your cleaning routine, name things you hate to do, name things that you actually enjoy doing, name what you feel like has to be done. And even when it comes to having company over, think about what you actually care about being clean. Maybe you really want the bathroom sinks to be wiped down and the toilet to be clean, but you don't care if you vacuum the floor in there. Name what matters, name what's important to you, because what's important for you isn't necessarily important for me or the next person. So now you've decided what's important to you and what's not important to you. We're going to move into actual tips and little tricks that you can set up in your house and systems to implement to help you keep what matters to you under control. So I think it is very, very crucial that everything in your home has a place to go. And that goes from anything like the TV remote to your couch to where do you keep the blankets? Where do you keep the spare sheets for when guests come over and the pull-out couch needs to be used? Every little thing needs to have a home and it's okay if that home is just like a zone. So I currently live in a smaller apartment and I work out from home all the time. I just stream it on my TV. It's super easy, but I do use dumbbells, resistance bands, sliders, foam rollers, all kinds of fun little gadgets, but I don't have a garage or a designated workout room to store it all in. So I created a small zone in my living room that's just like a corner that includes a basket with all of my accessories accessories and then all of my dumbbells lined up beside it. Now it's not exactly put away and super tidy and neat and I don't have a whole organization system in place for all of that but it has a place to go so whenever I work out I can take my dumbbells and I know that they have the workout zone to go rest in. Another really helpful way to decide this is to just have baskets or drawers. So if you have a junk drawer, I'm assuming most of us do, you could probably just throw pens, receipts, credit cards, old business cards, like whatever you have in your purse that are your pockets that you can't hold on to anymore probably just get stumped in the junk drawer. That's okay if that is considered your junk drawer. If you decide that that's where your receipts and coins and extra money goes, that's great. You have a zone for it. So when it comes to coming in at the end of the day and you empty your pockets, you know where the contents of your pockets go, if that makes any sense. Or if you have a tray by your front table where you drop your keys and your phone, you have a place for everything to be. And I think that's important for your entire home. If you've seen other videos on my channel, you know I love to do organization spaces. I love to buy organizational bins and create the maximum storage out of a small space, especially when I'm in an apartment right now and I don't have a lot of space to be working with. I really enjoy the organizational aspects. So everything in my little life gets an exact spot like this lipstick goes in this spot in my lipstick organizer, but you don't have to be that detailed. As long as you know where things go in your home and everything in it has a spot to go, you will have a much cleaner home because when it's time to tidy up for company, you're not just shoving everything under your bed because where else am I going to put it? Where does my winter coat go? Where does my extra pair of snow boots go? Where does my beach hat go? If everything has a spot, it makes cleanup so much easier. Okay, this tip might be my favorite, but it's to use cleaning stuff that you really enjoy using. Whatever it is that makes your heart sing with joy, when you reach for your cleaning rags, if you like them to be nice microfiber cloths, invest in those. You'll clean more often if you have products you like using. If you're really into scents and you really love the Mrs. Meyers like fall line, the Christmas line, the spring line, if you are really into that and that gets you excited to pull out that counter spray and wipe down your kitchen every night, buy those products. You're going to get your money's worth from products that you actually enjoy using, but if you don't care about that and you're not like jazzed by the super scents, go get the cheap stuff at the dollar store and save your money for something else that you actually enjoy using. I cannot imagine vacuuming without my Dyson, my cordless Dyson. I love it to pieces 
pieces it makes me so happy to vacuum it is actually like fun for me to vacuum with this Dyson but if you don't care about the vacuum find something else I'm sure there's something that you can buy like maybe a more indulgent or splurge worthy item for cleaning that makes you want to reach for that item more and use it more and if that's going to help you keep a cleaner home I think it is well worth the investment to a degree make sure you're smart about your budget I'm actually gonna be doing a budgeting video pretty soon so stay tuned to this channel if you want to find out how exactly we manage our income I might lose some of you on this one a little bit because I kind of am going to contradict myself actually a lot I'm actually going to completely contradict some of the, my earlier statements but number five is to make your bed every single day make it part of your morning routine I'll share my morning routine up here I also had a vlog recently that shows what my updated morning routine looks like but every single morning routine of mine results in a made bed like this I don't know how but having your bed made makes your bedroom look 80% cleaner and I know that I'm motivated by having clean spaces to have other clean spaces it's really easy for me to leave my bed a mess leave the kitchen a mess leave the living room a mess not clean up in the bathroom ignore all the laundry that I need to fold it's like a snowball effect for me so doing a really small easy task like making my bed every day makes my bedroom virtually spotless like I don't know the magic or the voodoo of having a made bed but somehow this whole situation makes the whole room just be like great I don't care that there's a mountain of clothes in the corner the bedroom's basically clean might as well clean up that little corner and it'll follow you through the rest of your house even though I said name what matters to you if making your bed is not mattering to you or not important to you I really urge you do it just for a week just try it for a week just believe in me a little bit have a little faith and let me know if you actually like it if you are not someone who typically makes their bed or if you're someone who makes the bed make sure you leave a like and a comment letting me know that you are one of those people because I feel like there's a lot of us okay number six are we on number six guys we are flying through this yes number six. Oh no just kidding number five decluttering regularly so if you have followed my channel for a while you probably are aware that I declutter often I declutter frequently and I don't hold back when I'm getting rid of stuff if something has not served me within the last year I will donate it or sell it or give it to friends and family I just will no longer own it myself and I can promise you guys never once in my 23 years of getting rid of junk have I ever missed anything that I let go of. I think decluttering regularly is a key, key, key part to having a tidy home because think about what makes messes. Stuff in your home makes messes. Having things out and visible makes messes. Things not where they belong makes messes. That's how you have the opposite of a tidy home is stuff everywhere. And what do you do when you declutter things? You get rid of more stuff. So there's less stuff to even have out. It just makes sense in my head that the less that you have, the less mess there can be because there's just less stuff in your house. I'm also gonna stop saying stuff and less and declutter and all of that but I have a whole decluttering playlist. I'll link it up here or here. What I never remember which side it's on. That is a super motivating playlist. If you want to have me go through a bunch of different closets, bedrooms, desks, makeup, kitchen, I have videos on all of those spaces if you need some motivation or someone to be along with you on your decluttering journey. And honestly, start small. Pick a junk drawer or just choose like, I'm going to look at just my shoes or just the winter coats in our closet. There are so many small little projects you can start on and then you will get addicted to the process of it because you'll find that the spaces are cleaner you're more likely to reach in and find products that you weren't using before. I, I could talk on and on about decluttering. I love decluttering. It is a passion of mine. Like sometimes I even get sad when I've gone through all of my apartment and I'm like, there's nothing else to declutter. I've gone through all of these spaces. I'm going to quit blabbering about that. Oh, one more, one more point. And then I promise I'll hop off my decluttering soapbox. Cause I know that you guys, if you are a subscriber, you probably hear about this a lot for me. If you are going through a decluttering process where you take everything out of a space, purge stuff, and then put it all back in, you are doing multiple things on the list that we've already gone through. My list is on my phone, that's why I'm referencing this. But you are naming what matters. You're choosing what things you're holding on to and letting go of the things that don't matter to you anymore. If something's just kind of on the fringe of like, oh, maybe like in two years I might want to use that again. I don't want to have to rebuy it. That's not serving you. So decluttering it and purging it is so, so, so good. It also frees up more space in your home for you to be able to find other products easier, to bring in new items that you'll enjoy more. And it also helps you find a spot for everything. So the point I made earlier where everything has a place once you have purged everything you're getting rid of and putting everything back you are naming every spot that those items are going back into as their zone their space their little cubby or their drawer or their closet you can like knock out like half of my tips just by going through a decluttering project and start small and make your way throughout the entire home put on the Marie Kondo Netflix show if that's what'll motivate you but I think all of us have a lot of junk that we can go through and be getting rid of and it will be for the better ultimately. Okay, we have two tips left. Stick with me. These might be some of my favorite tips. I think they're the most practical probably for actually physically keeping a tidy home rather than setting up systems to maintain a tidy home. I don't know if that makes any sense or if I'm just talking out of the wazoo right now. Number six, a nighttime reset. So stick with me on this. 
I think it is important at night before you go to bed to put your house to bed. One of my subscribers left a comment super, super sweetly telling me that I am probably overwhelmed by the dishes in my sink when I wake up in the morning, the pillows being all over the couch, nothing being where it needs to be, nothing in its designated place even though everything has a place. She gave me the advice that she always puts her house to bed before she goes to bed. And this doesn't mean doing a deep clean, scrubbing, shampooing carpets, it's not that at all. All you're doing is putting things back where they belong. You're hitting reset on your entire house so when you wake up you start a new day with everything back where it really should be. Your dishwasher is running, your pillows are on your couch, the throw blankets back in the bucket that it goes into. I actually just shared a video of me finally implementing this strategy in my nighttime cleaning routine video. I'll have that shared here too if you want to check that out and see what I decide is important to me to have clean at night, but I just really think that the nighttime reset is a great way to start the next morning off on the right note and then you're going to be motivated to keep the house clean because how many of us have been there where we have one dish in our hand walking it to the sink and we see four other dishes in the sink and it's like not a big deal to leave this in there but it's so much harder when your sink is empty to put that dish in the sink and be like oh you know what it'll take me 12 seconds probably to rinse it and put it in the dishwasher trust me on the nighttime reset try it for a week just like making your bed in the morning try a nighttime reset at night and some nights it might just be the dishes get put away or some nights it might look different than others but at least trying and having something done at the end of the night makes the morning so much better and my last tip number seven you can tie these two together so nighttime cleaning routine and setting a cleaning timer so i remember when i first found these um cleaning videos on youtube i found pretty neat living now or jen um what was she originally my housewife life was her original name when i discovered her 10 years ago on YouTube and she was posting videos of a 10 minute speed clean. And it's not what you think now where like somebody has cleaned for hours and hours and hours and cut it down into a 10 minute YouTube video that you can watch. She would show us on her phone, she'd go into there and set a 10 minute timer and that would be how long she gave herself to clean her kitchen for the day. And she would share the video of her like talking through her process and all that. If I can find one of those videos that are like 10 years old, I'll share it. I really enjoy her channel right now. Or even if you're doing that as your nighttime reset, 10 minute timer, plenty of time to do your dishes really fast get the dishwasher going, put the pillows back where they belong and do a quick vacuum. There's a lot you can get done in 10 minutes or five minutes or 15 or whatever it is. Setting a timer can really be the motivation you might need to kick your butt and to like get, get something done because how could you really say you don't have time for 10 minutes? Okay, there you have it. My top seven tips for how to keep a tidy home. I guarantee you, even if you just pick two of these things or even just one, start with one, start small and build from that. If you pick one of these things from the list today to go through and implement this coming week, I feel like your home will be so much tighter and neater and overall less overwhelming. I take that back. I think you should do at least two things. I think you should sit down for five minutes and think about what matters. Name what matters. Think about what is overwhelming you in your space and what is always not tidy in your mind or what your eye immediately goes to and thinks, oh, that looks so messy. Name that one thing and then pick something else from the list that I gave you guys to start implementing this week to help address that one thing. I think you guys will see improvements, leaps and bounds in how your home looks and feels and then you'll be happier. You'll have a happier home. There's just... Guys, keeping a happy home is super mundane and boring and gets tedious. And trust me, I hate doing dishes every single day, but it's something that we just have to do unless you're gonna be hiring a maid to come and do it for you. So I think it's important that we look to these things as something that we can find joy in and enjoy doing while we're tending to our home. And I think that's a very, very important job, even though it seems stupid, cause like who likes doing dishes? Hopefully some of these tips were helpful for you guys. If you liked any of them, drop a comment. Let me know which one you like the most or which one you already do. And make sure to like this video. And if you really, really like this content, I have tons of other videos videos on organization, decluttering, cleaning, whatever you need, I've got it for you. It'll be linked on um, either a playlist or down in the description bar or even on my channel homepage. So check that out if you're interested. And if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble about cleaning once again, but I will see you guys next time. Bye!